A one-time Charles Manson follower is going to remain in prison, denied parole for the 19th time Tuesday. Leslie Van Houten was convicted back in the 70s in the killing of Leno and Rosemary LaBianca. Tuesday, she argued that she had been rehabilitated enough to be let free. As a rehabilitated woman, I would like to state that the insight I have gained is not meant to excuse any of my acts. She added that she was only 19 at the time of the murders and under the influence of Charles Manson. I equally apologize to those whose cultures and ethnicities I offended by my ignorance and my arrogance. However, Louis Maldino, a member of the LaBianca family, pleaded with the parole board that Van Houten's work as a model prisoner is not enough for her to secure her release. She has no true remorse, but is focused on being a model pres prisoner so she can gain her freedom. After more than three hours of evidence and testimony, the three-person parole board agreed. Panels reviewed all the information received from the public and all the relevant information that was before us today, concluding that Ms. Van Houten is not yet suitable for parole because Ms. Van Houten currently poses an unreasonable risk of dangerousness if released from prison. Van Houten will be back for parole in three years. Her attorney hopes that next hearing will be moved up. She's disappointed and I'm disappointed um, that uh, the board didn't see the changes that she's made today. That was hard to deal with. Van Houten was convicted of murder and conspiracy for her role in the 1969 murders. They happened one night after Manson's followers killed actress Sharon Tate and four others. Van Houten did not participate in those killings. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.